This next story is a plot right out of a movie script involving dynamite, arson, guns, switchblades, and a scheme to knock off a rival. Detectives on Long Island say a jealous doctor tried to put his former partner out of commission for good. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports from Nassau County. It was inside his lavish Gold Coast home where the respected Long Island cardiologist Dr. Anthony Machetto allegedly conspired with two hired hitmen to torch his former great neck practice, kill his former partner in a bitter professional dispute over power and control. Our understanding was the plan was to come to fruition in May. Secreted behind a switch-activated bookcase in his Sands Point mansion, a cache of 100 weapons. Assault rifles, illegal narcotics, cash and blank prescription pads were allegedly used as payment to undercover detectives. The link is Dr. Anthony Machetto, a practicing cardiologist in Great Neck, who was the supplier and mastermind behind this elaborate scheme. Dr. Machetto arranged for his co-defendants to set a blaze in his old office, but firefighters extinguished it, says the DA, before anyone was hurt. Dr. Machetto then allegedly hatched a new plan against the former partner. He was willing to pay 5000 to have him beaten and put in the hospital for a few months, and then he said he would pay 20000 to have him killed. Inside the Great Neck offices where the arson took place, renovation signs are posted. The doctor victim back at work learning of the alleged plot on his life. Maybe the victim might want to speak to us. No. Meantime, Dr. Machetto moved offices a mile away on Northern Boulevard in Great Neck. We did not receive a warm reception from his new staff and colleagues. This is a doctor whose patients love him. Do you trust and believe in your colleague? Of course, of course. Dr. Machetto, a divorced father with two young children, was supported in court by his live-in girlfriend and a host of family and friends. They say they hope that once he posts bond, he returns to his new great neck practice until trial. From Hempstead, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.